Phantom, how's it going? You guys have actually asked me this question a few times, so I'm here to answer it. And we are going to be looking at some ways you can tell when an omnibus or a hardcover special edition is going to go out of print. So, let's get into it. Now, the short answer is, you can never really tell when it's going to go out of print. Uh, some books, they will be on the market for a long time. You've got omnibus that have been out there for years and years and years and years, with really no end in sight to seeing when they will be out of print I'm looking at you ecstatic omnibus you've been out there forever and it's been to the point where the book is now like probably for 30 bucks and it's still not out of print so some books you just can't tell you really can't tell there are a few things though that you should be looking out as a purchaser in the market one of the obvious things is is if a book has a character that is in a movie for example most recently the annihilation conquest omnibus just came out and the Annihilation Conquest Omnibus was gone like that off of in-stock trades. The reason behind that is because of the fact that the first appearance of the Guardians of the Galaxy that as we know them, Groot, uh, Groot, not Root, nah, Groot, Rocket Raccoon, Star-Lord, that's in that book. So that was for me a clear sign that yeah, if I'm going to get this book, I better get it now while it's 50% off because chances are a few months or even a year down the line, that book's going to go out of print. So that's one key thing that you have to look forward to is if a book has a first appearance of a popular character that is in a movie. The movies dictate a lot of what happens in comic books today as far as sales, as far as special editions being collected and things like that. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to look out for is the market. And what I mean by the market is you're going to want to pay attention to a few websites, mainly Amazon, eBay, cheap graphic novels, discount comic book services, and in-stock trades. Those are your five big guys. Those are the ones that everybody's going to be going to to buy these special edition hardcovers, omnibus, and things like that. Now, when you start noticing, for example, that three out of those five sites are running low on stock or you're starting to notice that cheap graphic novels, especially their prices have jacked up on a certain book, chances are the book is going to be out of print really soon and when that happens now is your time to strike and now is your time to pick up the book that you've been wanting to get what happens if you don't okay let's say you just ignore it and three out of the five sites and then four out of the five sites and then all of a sudden five out of the five sites and they're all gone what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up going to ebay and what you're going to notice is that ebayers will shoot up the price of a certain book in the hopes that they bought it low, sell it high. Capitalism at its finest, right? You buy something at low price, you sell it high price, hoping to make a profit off, off of it. That's what's gonna end up happening. So like I said, if you start noticing that maybe like Amazon's out of print of something, in stock trades is out of print of something, cheap graphic novels has jacked up the price ridiculously high on something or they're out of print on it, you're gonna wanna jump the gun maybe on eBay or some, or some other website while they still have stock on it. Otherwise, you risk paying a lot more later on. The last thing you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to is when a volume two or a volume three of an omnibus or an absolute edition is coming out. The reason I say this is because oftentimes collectors such as myself will wait, will hold out a little bit longer in the hopes that a volume two or a volume three will be solicited because we have been burned a few times where we buy an omnibus early on and then the second volume of the omnibus never comes out. I'm looking at you, the Ultimate Spider-Man omnibus. We've been waiting for that for probably like five years at this point, some ridiculous like that. I don't even know. But a lot of times collectors will hold off on that, will wait, okay, volume two is solicited, now I can go ahead and I can pick up volume one. And what you'll notice is that the amount of supply for the first omnibus will probably start to go down as the volume two omnibus approaches, maybe even in the last week, a volume one omnibus could go out of print, something like that. It's not a surefire thing, it doesn't always happen, but there have been, you know, there are rare instances where it could happen. So just be on the lookout for that and make sure you're checking your dates and seeing when a Volume 2 or a Volume 3 omnibus is coming out for a particular omnibus that you already have. So, I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. Um, next week is Q&A week, so what does that mean? Next Wednesday, I will answer your questions, so submit your questions down below in the comment section. I will go ahead and answer them for you. Uh, I've been pretty good with that, and you're probably wondering, well, wasn't it Q&A week like last week? But you gotta remember, I took like a two-week break, and I'm sticking to my schedule, so the middle of the month is always Q&A day. So submit your questions down below. I will answer them next week. I love doing this. It's a ton of fun. I love hearing back from you guys. Thank you so much. Please, please, please check out my Twitter, my Facebook, and you can follow me there. That is the best way to get a hold of me. If you feel so inclined, that would be really awesome. Check out my Patreon page. 
Uh, the Patreon, like I said earlier in the other video that I did like last week, is completely optional. I will not hold back any videos from you. I am thinking about doing some rewards and things like that. Maybe like a weekly book club that just specifically for my Patreon subscribers where we can get together and we can discuss a certain book. I think that would be pretty cool. But let me know what you think. Get back to me. I love hearing back from you guys. You guys are awesome. 